She's eating the carpet. She's a carpet muncher. <sighs> anyway. Let's see if that about our cat. <laughs> Alright, so we've been on a little bit of a hiatus. We missed last week because our schedule's been crazy. And we missed mm-hmm. last yeah, we missed last night's episode because uh <clears throat> we were in Cleveland visiting family and we had a seventeen hour drive. And uh I'm still tired from it. But we're gonna watch it. Damn it. So here we go. Yep. Yeah. Hmm. Killing, what do you think he's gonna feel about um Rumple? I think because Hook was already an asshole, being the dark one is going to be really easy for him. Because being good was not <laughs> natural to him. <laughs> he looks so emo. I know. It's like, hey, try to like swoop your bangs more over your face and add more eyeliner. Mm-hmm. Marriage counseling. That's what this looks like. Well, yes, but. He acts more like the Dark One than Emma does, about like being like playful and kind of a jackass. Hmm. 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 You like Hook as the Dark One. I like him as a villain because he is a villain. He's always been a villain. He was just a good guy to get into Emma's pants. Truth. Truth. Hook was only a good guy to get into Emma's pants. So yes, I like him as a villain because that's who his character is. And I like good characters. And so he is a good villain. So when he's playing a villain, I actually fucking like him. You know, it is interesting that, like you said, he's more playful, like the original Dark Ones always were. Um, And Emma was not playful at all, which kind of shows how much she was fighting against her dark nature. Yes. He's just like, oh, I'm the Dark One? All right, awesome, cool. Like, he's not fighting it at all. No. I don't know. She's pretty powerful, though, so it might be yeah, easier for her to fight it. But still, still, even Rumple with Belle tried to fight it. Yeah, he even killed himself. He killed himself for Belle. And Hook, after he realized he was the Dark One, was like, well, fuck. All right, sweet, let's do this. And, yeah, he's definitely very Ugh. anti-Emma right now. So I I do I like I like Hook as a villain because he's a villain because he's not with Emma. <laughs> well, no. Well, that too. Yes. Yes. I was gonna yes. say you can't but say it doesn't play a part. <laughs> when characters best fit what they're written for, I like it. Hmm. Okay. So when Hook, a villain, is actually being a villain, I like that shit. Okay. I do. Cleavage. Cleavage. Go let me love you. Oh, look at that smile on your face. I <laughs> am. Let me be happy. Let me be happy. It makes me happy. Oh, please, Belle. Oh my God, something's gonna stop her if he lives. Go let me love you. And I will love you. You know, it's the Neo song. I have no fucking clue what you were just singing at all. <laughs> all right. I'm excited. You're so happy for Ron Bill and Bill. I am. Because, one, he admitted that the choices he had made before were freaking awful. And he'd, he'd done things that were just unforgivable. But he still, he wants to do right by her and love her Aww. like he should have all along. And it's Aww. just so beautiful. And they're so cute together. <laughs> <laughs> oh, please, Belle. I hope so. Yeah. I hope, though, that he doesn't lose that just that little bit of trickery, that little bit of, that little edge. But he didn't have trickery before he was the dark one. No, but he was so playful and fun as the Dark One in some ways. I'm not saying in the evil ways. He can still be playful for good. I want these things. (laughs) These are things that I want. I want a lot of things. I want Swan Queen so bad to be canon. I know. 
And you want to play <clears throat> playful oh. character. I feel like I'm watching the Titanic, and the Titanic is Captain Swan, the Hook and Emma ship, and it has. Why you were smiling? A little <laughs> bit. I feel like it's that moment in the movie where it snaps in half, and it's slowly just sinking deep into the icy cold water of the Atlantic. Yeah. Ah, oh, it makes me happy because. It's an abusive relationship. So is technically Rumpel and Bells. I don't disagree with that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But I'm still rooting for Rumpel and Bell. I never see, you never see Robin in anymore. No. He's kinda just kinda like <clears throat> like he's just kinda there. <gasps> Merlin! And I officially hate Hook. Hook's a fucking asshole. <gasps> he just called her soiled? The woman that he supposedly loved? His true love he just called soiled. You should have killed him! Pick it back up! Pick this one back up! Pick it up! Pick it up! Pick it up! Why'd you drop it? He can just pick that shit up again! Why? I would never let go of that sword ever again. Ever. Because the moment you let go of it, he's gonna kill him. You okay? You good? You got that out of your system? I did. Okay. I'm better now. Good. <laughs> <laughs> uh oh. Uh oh. Indeed. And some part of me will always. Uh oh. Oh shit. Uh oh. Uh, you have... Oh. That is just freaking awful. Don't take it too bad. So I think she'll eventually gravitate back toward him. Rest in peace. I think. What the fuck is happening? No, they're making up shit for what the Dark One wants. What it's always wanted. I don't know, bring hell to earth? Uh, mm, uh, are we gonna get a preview for next week? I guess not, Hulu. Uh, uh, I'm torn on this uh, episode, if only because you gave me hope. You gave me hope, and then you fucking snuffed oh, for, it out. For Rumple and Bell. I think, though, I mean, but it was an optimistic, even though it was sad, it was an optimistic um, exchange. Like, it was sad, and she still loves him. I think, given enough time, I think she would gravitate back toward him. But I just, I don't foresee, like, he fights for those he loves. Right now, the only person... Who he loves and loves him back is Henry. <laughs> that's all no. He, he loves. Has. I mean, he loves Bell. But I mean, yeah. Even though Bell, but that's but like Bell does love him back. But the way she said it, like it, like you saw it, like crushed him. It, it was crushing her too because she wants to be with him, but she's trying to protect but herself. But she said she didn't necessarily want that because she's repairing herself. I genuinely think. That given enough time, she's gonna go back to him. I do. Because he is different. And even though she might not love him the way he wants her to, she still loves him. And so, of course, he's still gonna keep fighting for her. Jesus! You're such a pessimist! I am. Meanwhile, my ship is like not canon and it's like all suffering and shit, and I'm, I'm holding on. I'm holding on, and you're like, oh, well, that sucked. I guess it's over. No, I'm not saying that oh, I guess face. it's over. I just, I, this one episode both brought my hopes up and then crushed them. <laughs> yeah. That's all I'm saying. I know the feeling. Yeah. 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 Hmm. Except mine was canon once. <sighs> I love you. I'm sorry. I love you so much! God damn!
damn, twist the knife. <laughs> Fuck. But now Hook and Emma's done. Yeah. Done, I, son. Especially that orphan mm, part. Oh. The orphan oh. part and the calling his true love, because he, he considered his true love, like, to be Rumpel's ex-wife. Yep. He called her soiled. Yeah. He he said he would have returned her soiled. soiled. <laughs> so it's like, wow. All right. But I, I like him as a villain because it's who he's supposed to be. So I like him as a villain now. And I would be I would be extremely disappointed to see to see him redeemed back as a hero because he was never a hero. He never was. There's nothing to be redeemed from. He is just being himself. I almost feel like if he does come back, he'll die. <laughs> like well, after like, being redeemed, he'll have that moment of redemption. He tells Emma he loves her and then he dies. Like he was a villain right from the start. And the reason why the darkness didn't completely consume Emma is because she is a hero. She's a good person. And she had light magic anyway. Well, that too. But she fought it. Hook embraced it damn near immediately without yeah, any did. effort. He didn't put any effort into it. It was just like, this is this happened. And he killed Merlin. He did it. He killed Merlin. And he's like, the moment you lied to me about this... That's when I was just like, fuck you. And also, beforehand, he was supposed to be some sort of weird father figure to Henry. Yeah, again, that's another ploy to get into Emma's pants. Well, there were so many times that he put Henry in danger. Yeah. Or everything he he does is a means to make himself happy. Because even by going out of his way to help Emma, it's still to benefit him. The only selfless thing, I will give him this, the only selfless thing that he did was ask Emma to let him die when he was dying. That's it. Because he was like, you're happy in it, you, you being happy and continuing to live will be enough for me. Mm-hmm. That's it. And I give the guy credit because he at least did that. Everything else, no. That's it. That's it. That's the only that's selfless thing. That's the only thing you're going to give Hook. That is the only selfless thing he did. The whole, I gave up my shit for you, fuck you. Honestly, not fuck you. I like you. But, <laughs> but fuck Thank look. you. Thank you so much. I need my hair flip. You I can definitely see this being an exciting second half of the season. I agree. It's definitely a lot more interesting than the first part. And the idea of a whole shipload of dark ones... <laughs> Now being in Storybrooke, I just love them all. Like, I just imagine them all, like, organizing, like, getting onto the boat, like, taking turns walking onto the boat and sitting down, sitting next to each other, just kind of sitting there, and then taking the portal to hell, and they're all just sitting there on the boat. Like, I don't know. Like, for me, that's just amusing. All I'm thinking of is the fact that Emma has her dark power, yes, but all they got is Emma, Regina... Hook has... Who else has power on the good side? I don't know who else... Robin has disappeared. He's literally just a plot figure. That's it. Seriously, he just, like, randomly appears for, like, maybe... Maybe ten seconds at a time. I think it's hilarious. (sighs) Anyway. With each passing episode, I try and be a little bit optimistic about Swan Queen. Because I think that this there's ship- a lot more of a chance now than there was before. <laughs> if the seed was planted. The two-hour episode. Slow, slow ripening. Yeah, the two episode. I'm not going to lie, I was strongly affected by that episode. Yeah. But this, doesn't this make you feel a little better? A little episode? bit, yeah. Oh. The insignificance of Robin and the demise <laughs> of the ship of uh, Captain Swan makes me a little happy. Mm-hmm. I can tell. Yeah. Yeah. It's a little pep in my step. <laughs> All right. Happiness at other people's sadness. And no. Just good and writing. And the destruction of relationships. No, no, no. I'm happy with uh, good writing and uh, proper character development. I'll give you that. I always support good character development. Mm. Yeah. Okay. All right. Anyway, uh, we will possibly have... Another um, little makeup episode where, you know, 
uh, she plays a video game or we talk about something LGBT related because we've 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 kind of I feel like we've we've got to make up maybe a little Thanks, more time. Thanksgiving's been rough and my work has been rough mm -hmm. and we have shit happening. But we're gonna make an effort. We're gonna do it. We're gonna post this shit. Absolutely. So anyway, I'm Rachel. I'm Megan, and we will see you later. Bye. Bye bye.